High school graduations are coming up soon, and many students are wondering if remote learning will end or continue into college. And universities across Oregon are now making arrangements for a possible fall semester off campus. Fox 12's Brenna Kelly joins us live now after talking with school officials, as well as a student who is one of thousands just anxiously waiting now. Brenna? Well, this is already a stressful time for any high school student who's about to move away from home for the first time and begin their college career. But the reality is with this health crisis, we just don't know what fall holds for students. I have a lot of creative hobbies, so I've been drawing and writing a lot. While high school seniors await the end of this health crisis and the beginning of their college career, many are questioning whether normal life will be here by then. If classes are um, in person, that would uh, uh, obviously be ideal, but if they're not, then I think what we're going to do is have to just see what happens. Katiana Kirby is planning to attend Willamette University, but has serious doubts if she has to begin her freshman year online. As someone who's already tried online school previously, I know that online school doesn't work for me, so if it were to shift to an online learning at home type of deal, then I would likely also end up going um, and taking a gap year um, so that I can know that I can succeed um, in my on the collegiate level. Universities across Oregon have already rolled out new features for prospective students like virtual tours. Right over here we have the Robert and Beverly Lewis Integrative Science Building. But they're also planning for what learning will look like if social distancing still plays a factor in the fall. We may have the ability, if the governor allows us, to open our campuses in Bend and Corvallis to physical learning, but we're going to do it in a very safe and, and socially and physically distanced way. At OSU, for instance, where there are more than 20,000 students on their two campuses, this may mean not only separating students in class, but also scheduling more than one session of the same course to accommodate everyone safely. At Willamette University, where just over 2,000 students are enrolled and the average class size is less than 17, getting back to normal may be a whole lot easier. We know that things are going to be different in education and community and career after COVID-19. This is a time to prepare for that. And universities are also taking a look at modifying residence hall use and athletics. Some colleges have also considered pushing back the start of fall semester. Bottom line, there's certainly a lot to keep on our uh, minds in terms of higher education over the next couple months. Reporting live in Portland, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.